on this video I'm gonna teach you how to use the energy ball both the energy ball presets that I have on my website bring special effects.tk pretty much all you gotta do is after you download and install them you make a new document by going file new new project then import some video file import file then go over to whatever video clip you want click open click on the video clip drag it down to this icon then for the first preset which is the smoother looking energy ball you're gonna go layer new adjustment layer and then say you want the green the green energy ball you'll just type in ball then that'll have all the energy ball presets the new install and then you're gonna type in green ball bring it over here make sure both of these are highlighted and then check the intensity first I'm gonna show you how to make it make a pulsing type effect with it so you're gonna make sure that you have a stopwatch check next to intensity on both of them then you're gonna go a few you're gonna go like to well you'll lower the intensity to like 30 for when it starts so that it pulses upwards then you're gonna have it right here where the hands close up you're gonna bring the intensity up a little bit so back up to like 127 then you'll go up a little bit more until the hands separate and then start coming closer together and then you'll increase the intensity even more so that it comes up like that lower the intensity a little bit if it looks like it's too thick then go through a little bit more until the hands close up again drop the intensity back down to like 114 or whatever looks good then pretty much all you're going to keep doing throughout your entire video is doing that and that's how you make the energy ball have that little pulsing effect to it and then if you want to have it just like moving from side to side I'm going to just get rid of the intensity keyframes and then make it small enough so that I can just show you how it's going to be moving around that little area. You're going to want to check the center point with the stopwatches. And then like after a few frames, you'll move the center point of both of them down. Then you'll go over a few more frames. Click the center point, move it up again. Make, but you have to make sure that both the effects are highlighted. And then pretty much all you'll be doing is doing something like that, moving the center points around. And then it'll make the energy ball be moving around. And then to combine both moving them around and pulsing, you'll do something, you'll click the stopwatch for the intensity also, make sure both are selected, and then you'll go a certain amount of frames, bring the intensity up, then you want it to shrink again, so you'll go like that, shrink it, bring it up, 
So now it's moving and pulsing all, all together. And then you'll move over here again, lower the intensity. That's pretty much all you're doing. You got to get a feel for it. Right now, I just did this quick, so it doesn't really look that realistic. But that's pretty much all you got to do with this preset. Now I'm going to show you how to use the other preset. Just delete just completely delete the adjustment layer then go layer new solid make sure it's the comp size click OK then you're just gonna make like you're gonna make a mask by clicking the shape tool ellipse tool then just make a circle Hold shift to make it stay like a complete circle, not get lopsided or anything. Then go type in energy, and then you'll get to the second set of presets. I'm going to choose green again for this one. And then pretty much all you're going to be doing with this one, you're not really going to have to worry about the points because you're just going to be fooling around with the scale of the scale of the layer and the position. So you're going to go to the layer, click the drop down arrow, click the drop down arrow next to transform, click the stopwatch next to position and scale, and then you'll just go over here. I'm going to unkeyframe them and just set them back up. So now I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. Best thing to do is hold shift so that that way it stays the normal size of the layer. Then you're going to have it play a little bit. Move it. And then you can also shrink it. Play it a little bit. make the scale bigger. You could also just do it by dragging those those down here. And then you can move it like that. Or you could just use the red box and do that. And then you'll have it go to the next set where you're going to want it to move to. Then shrink it, scale it, move it. And then that's pretty much all you do with that preset. So hopefully this helped you learn how to use these presets. I kind of had to rush through it because YouTube only allows a certain amount of time to put these videos on to their website. So if you have any questions about the preset, leave a comment under the video. Go to my website. You'll have um, you'll be able to find our Facebook group, and you'll be able to post the comment on there to see if we can help you with how to get the effect to work. Or you could also just leave a message on what other type of effects you want us to put on the website, and we'll try to figure out how to do those.